So now that we have the headlight fully disassembled and the reflector taken out of it, we're going to need to compare it to the Mini H1 projector. And oftentimes, in any other headlight aside from an H7 or an H4 application, uh, such as a 9006, H13, H11, for example, the depth of the reflector or the butt of the reflector where the bulb mounts is too much for the threaded shaft on the projector to fit through and then get the lock ring back on. So when you're doing a retrofit on a, on a headlight, again, anything but an H4 or H7, you need to grind down the depth of that reflector butt so that you can, you know, basically thin up the very back half of it and leave as much st space as possible for the lock ring and the bulb holder to go back on the projector. Sometimes that's even required in H4 and H7 retrofits, but you still have the benefit of using the adapter plate. So the other challenge in a retrofit like this is doing the alignment, which is the rotation, because there's no adapter plate for a 9006, an H13, etc. So when doing that, you know, you can either use reference lines on the reflector to make sure that when you tighten the projector in, its horizontal reference matches those, and then when put back on the car, everything is level again. Uh, the other thing that you can do is when you put it back on the car is leave the lock ring on the back only sem semi-tight. And that way, you can actually grab the projector from the front, of course, before you put the front lens cover back on the headlight, and manually rotate it just a couple degrees, clockwise or counterclockwise, to adjust the rotation. You need the lights on for that, but, uh, you know, you can check that out later. So what we're going to do is modify this reflector, show you how we do that so that you can get this projector mounted to it. And uh, for that, we're going to need either a belt sander uh, or a Dremel tool. Uh, in this case, we're going to use a belt sander just because it's uh, the easiest way to do it if you have one of those. And uh, from there, we'll mount the projector and uh, reassemble everything. Okay, so now that we have our reflector all modified with the base ground down, you can actually compare it to the original one and see that this one is still much deeper. So now that we're at this point, we have enough depth here so that we can fit the threaded shaft from the mini projector through and put the hardware on, lock it down, and uh, we'll be all set from there. So what we need to do is we need to take the three-pronged bulb holder off of the mini projector first so that we can get that threaded shaft through. Usually it's just as easy as taking off just one screw. So loosen that. Get rid of the screw, and then you can put the projector through from the front side. Before you do that, you want to put one of the rubber grommets in. Uh, here I'm using the bigger one, but you just kind of have to feel it out which one you end up using, the bigger or the smaller one. Uh, put that through from the front side. That'll fit through there. And uh, from there, you can put the uh, adapter plate on. This is an H7 adapter plate. You know, for purpose of this retrofit, it's really just serving, uh, you know, for extra support on the reflector to, uh, you know, just give it a little bit more, more surface area. Uh, so we've got that on there on the back, and then we'll go ahead and thread on our, our hex lock ring. And we want to be careful when we're doing this because the threads are a little bit soft, and uh, when you tighten them down all the way, they're made to deform so that it locks itself in place permanently. So we need to get this on all the way. You can just hand tighten it. Again, just hand tighten it when you first start because you're probably going to need to adjust the rotation of the projector after the fact, just due to the fact that we're not using any uh, you know, adapter plates that set that rotation automatically, again, like an H4 or an H7 based application. So we've got this locked on here. See how that's put together. And uh, we just need to make sure that we get our lock ring down all the way so that the three feet on the bulb holder can go all the way back into the channels on the back of the projector, because if they don't sink all the way in there, uh, the bulb is not going to line up perfectly inside, and the beam pattern and the light output is going to be thrown off. So once we've got that in, uh, we can go ahead and uh, reinstall our bulb holder, uh, reassemble the headlight, put the xenon bulb in it, uh, turn it on, and check the uh, check the rotation. And then from there, you know, again, we can just rotate the the projector manually from the front of the housing, just so, so the beam pattern is perfectly level. 
put our shrouds back on, reassemble everything, you know, for the final, uh, you know, final time. And, um, you know, that's really it. That's all, all that, uh, you know, retrofit into a non-H4 or H7 uh, headlight entails.